Hey, it's Sparky. Put together this uh, kitchen hood control wiring diagram. To start off, I'm going to show you the uh, basically the functions of it. When you walk into the kitchen door, you turn the switch on, and your two exhaust fans will fire up, as well as your makeup air, and in this case, your hood lights. The outlets underneath the hood, behind the fryers and the uh, cooktop there are all on a constant hot. So what will happen is if you hit the uh, fire emergency fire button the power to the outlets will be disconnected, the lights will be disconnected and the makeup air will be disconnected, the exhaust fan 1 and 2 will remain running. And in order to do this we'll take a look at the next slide and that's what we have for a wiring diagram. So here's what we've got. I've got the individual circuits. I have two appliance circuits under the hood and um, one for the hood lights. We got our two pole breaker for the makeup air and those are contained here on the on this third contactor over. And so that would be the lighting as well as the makeup air and our three phase exhaust fans and our control circuit. So when you walk in and you turn the switch on, supplies power to these contactors, the exhaust fan comes on, the makeup air and the hood lights come on, the contactor for the appliance circuits underneath the hood, the fryers and the cooktop, they're on constantly. So what will happen is when you turn this switch on, the um, the switch will close, it will send power through a normally closed micro switch which will go up and hit the contactor for the makeup air as well as we've got a direct connection to the two contactors for the exhaust fans because we want those to remain running. This is set up as a non-shunt trip, you'll run across these in some of the older systems or perhaps a system where uh, you're limited on panel space and you can't put a shunt trip breaker in. I happen to be working on a uh, restaurant right now and I've got some shunt trip breakers so I'll be able to put something together on that sometime here in the future. The uh, third micro switch within this particular hood is reserved for the fire alarm with you know some sort of signal. So what will happen is when this uh, system is tripped on the emergency system this will open up causing those outlet that contactor to open up and causing those outlets to go dead and same with the uh, lights and the makeup air this will reverse and go to a normally open and it will kill the power to that contactor coil and kill the power to that contactor coil keeping these two contactors uh, up and running to suck the smoke out each one of these systems needs to be checked out with your local AHJ and uh, specifications of the fire department find out what it is that they particularly want. So there's uh, just a quickie wiring diagram and I'm going to go ahead and pop into this other page here and this is the uh, ANSEL system I've got some pictures taken to get taken for and there's your micro switch is actually in an ANSEL system that is a shunt trip breaker even though that's that's not part of the wiring diagram I just showed you there's a shunt trip breaker up there gas valve this particular one is a mechanical gas valve I have run into some electric gas valves before not as common and then this is somebody else's artwork in here as far as the uh, coils and contactors and this is wired in with the uh, contactor with the uh, shunt trip system so as you can tell without knowing how the particular system works when you get into this this is kind of a um, got quite a few wires in here and to trace them all down you really need to know which end is which and by the way this particular unit has two hoods on it one in the back and one in the front and uh, they're controlled off this switch one is for the lighting so and then this one is for the uh, the makeup air exhaust fans. So that's just a little rundown. Let me pop back to the wiring diagram. So we got uh, you know a neutral 
for all the contactors because we're sharing a common control circuit. You don't want to take the power off of any one of these in case something trips on a breaker then your whole system's down. But um, you know your individual single pole breakers, two pole breaker for the makeup air fin, exhaust fan one, exhaust fan two, and your control circuit. You got your micro switches down here on a normally closed contact. You got a single pole switch that when energized your exhaust fans will come on, your makeup air will come on, and this is already on. When this trips, this reverses, goes into normally open, opens that contactor, opens that contactor, kills the power underneath the hood for the appliance circuits as well as the makeup air, but remains, um, keeps the exhaust fan one and two running to suck the smoke out. So there's your non-shunt non wiring diagram for a fire control system on a hood for a kitchen commercial com kitchen hood. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we're going to talk at you later. Bye.